going on guys? My name is David and welcome back to another BuzzFeed test. The show where you suggest BuzzFeed food videos and I most likely mess them up. Last week the homegirl Roxy suggested the Lucky Charms ice cream cake. So let's get started. Things you'll need for this week's video are marshmallows, butter, white chocolate chips, your favorite ice cream, non-stick cooking spray, and of course, Lucky Charms. So step one is to make the white chocolate bark. So grab yourself a bowl, throw in one and a half cups of white chocolate chips, an ounce and a half of butter, and microwave that until it gets to this smooth, chewed gum consistency. Then throw some wax paper down, smooth that glop onto there, and keep in mind it does not have to be in a perfect circle, but the OCD inside me could not help but to do so. Once you got that smoothed out, you're gonna throw a cup and a half of Lucky Charms over the top. Make sure all the Lucky Charms are pressed down into the chocolate, whether that be with a knife or your hand, because all the loose pieces on top will eventually fall off. Anyways, throw that into the freezer for 20 to 30 minutes. And while that's freezing up, we're gonna make the Lucky Charms treat crust. So grab yourself a new bowl and throw in a cup and a quarter of marshmallows, then a half ounce of butter, and then microwave that one up. Add two and a half cups of Lucky Charms. And it was at this point I realized this is going to be super messy. Another quick tip, spray your spatula or whatever you're using to mix with with a little cooking spray or else this will be an absolute pain in the ass to mix. Once that is complete, grab yourself a nine inch pan, spray that with some cooking spray and then lay down your Lucky Charms crust. Like I said before, spray the spatula and then smooth that all out. Grab your ice cream and even though it calls for vanilla ice cream, I'm pretty sure this could work with any kind. And spray spread a half of the gallon across the Lucky Charms. This process is a lot easier if the ice cream is softened, so I suggest taking it out about 10 to 15 minutes before you start this. Now that that's looking good, throw that back in the freezer and take out your white chocolate bark. And then break that up however you can. I first tried a knife, but I just realized it was too thick to do, so I ended up using my hands. Keep in mind that the thinner your white chocolate is, the easier it's gonna be to break. Once you got that all broken up, grab your pan and layer that over the top. Try to fill in all the empty spaces and back into the freezer that goes for another 20 to 30 minutes. And now, after about an hour and a half, we have finally arrived to this point. I think a close up of that is necessary. Looking good to me. Now I'm assuming that a hot knife will work better for this since it's an ice cream cake, so run yours under hot water for a couple seconds. <laughs> God almighty, it's hard. I just have to say that in my opinion, mine looks better than the BuzzFeed one. All right, so how long did this take me? Um, probably an hour, an hour and a half, and a lot of that was spent setting up my camera and other things besides actually making it, so time scores very well. How easy it was to make. The video was very straightforward, and there was only a couple little things that I kind of figured out on my own, so that it also gets a good score. And for the most important part, I can't imagine this tasting badly, but... Whoa. Even though I know this thing is incredibly unhealthy, it is so freaking good. Like I said, any type of ice cream would really work besides like weird flavors, I guess. Overall, just think it's like a nine and a half out of 10 because that's really good. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give me that big thumbs up. It means a lot. Once again, let's try to get this video to 50 likes. It's a lot, but I think we can do it. Most importantly, guys, leave your suggestion for what you want me to do next down in the comments because next Thursday, I'm going to try another one. Other than that, have an awesome week, guys, and I'll see you right back here on Sunday. Peace.